Okay, we're back with Brody, and the fact that he isn't trained became very apparent the second I got here. This lady was coming out of PetSmart with her dog, and sometimes this happens, but this dog was looking at me. Not the lady, the dog. So, I go around, get Brody out. He's already lurching out of the cage, and goes like a bat out of hell straight towards this dog. If he said, but he was concerned. That, no, he wasn't concerned. I was holding on the end of the leash. So I proceeded to do the I don't want the leash made tight drill. And that's all you can do. If he said, well, when we took him out in public, he walked perfectly. And I don't believe you. He was dragging me all over the place. Oh, hi, Kamal. So you're going to do this drill. You're not going to try to correct the dog or anything else. You're just going to develop a pattern of travel. And if you said we used to bring him up to this shopping center all the time, they don't act like he's ever been here before. So I've got my traits, and I've got my north-south travel pattern, and I've got my hand in this loop so that when he goes to try to tear like a maniac, God forbid he sees another dog. Anyway, this is after I've done the drill. So I've got it going to heal him now. Now he's really good. If I had not done that drill initially, it would have been. I'll get the surveillance video. I'll get the surveillance video from the shopping center so you can see how he dragged me. I was already ready for it though. I was already ready for it. And that's why you need a six foot leash. And that's why I got my hand in the handle. If you said he'll pull towards these people, probably. He's doing absolutely perfect. Get him up, get him up there. careful up here. I saw that kid looking at the phone. He said, I looked right and back. So those dogs just had to bark? Yeah, they just had to bark. If I didn't have this pager, I would be cranking on this dog. And if he said, what happened when the leash got tight? He bounced back towards me. You're gonna have to get traits and stuff though, girl. It's it's going good though, and I'm gonna pull it all together. He's gonna be amazing. But I'm keeping the leash loose. I'm saying if you want it there to be in, let's be in. There's no more. Okay, there's 
no more. I'll, I'll easily let you go to the end. I'm not going to try to restrain you. That's, that's what I'm doing, and that's how I'm getting the dog to heal. I'm not doing a bunch of corrections. I'm saying you can go, you can do whatever you want, but if you go all the way to the end, that doesn't, we're, I'm going the other way. So I'm just waiting for some other dog to walk by. If you said, are you gonna be, no, I'm not gonna be disappointed in anything he does. I already have a plan for whatever he does. So, got my leash. That was the turn I made at the house. So I'm adding the pager right there. So that's where we're at. I'm going to add it down and let me see if I can get them to pick something up. Sometimes they won't do it in the very beginning. I just gotta run and get some stuff and I gotta go home and work on the, but we'll do that girl. When you come to do the lessons, we'll take them out for a field trip. So, because I said to myself, I can either work them at the house, uh, but I'll get more, cause I gotta run to the store anyway. I'll get more out of it if I go up by the store because he is immediate asshole, immediately. I mean, he came barreling out of the van. It was all I could do to get a hold of him and get the, leash on him before he was lurching towards this little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh, hi, Richard. Anyway, that's what happened. The second I got here, he lurched me. And all I did, and that's, it, it is posturing. I'm holding the leash like this. If you want to go, you're operating however you want within this boundary. But I've got that Where I'm gonna drop the whole thing if you if you go get me out of your sight. I've already got a plan. You lurch and take off. I'm not gonna restrain you. I'm not even gonna be there. I'll be gone. So I'm using that pager on that turn. And that's giving me a nice turn. If you said it's creating a habit, yeah, it's creating a habit. All right, we do the glasses one more time for Richard. And sometimes they won't do it in a distracted environment, but he is. Stuff out and anything. All right, but I'll do a video and I've got a shepherd in there, so I'll be right back.